Hello everyone, Kathy Rose here. I'm an astrologer from Virginia Beach, and I am delighted to talk to you about the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction coming up on December 21st, 2020. This conjunction is called the Great Mutation. It is part of a larger 200-year cycle because the conjunctions from Jupiter and Saturn have been happening for 200 years in the Earth sign element, and now we are beginning a new phase where they start to happen in the air signs. That's what the great mutation is all about. Let me explain. There is that 200 year elemental cycle of Jupiter and Saturn coming together, but really on a smaller level, these two planets conjoin every 20 years. And it takes 10 of these conjunctions once every 20 years where the two planets come together in that same element with occasional exceptions, but it super energizes the energy of that particular element for 20 year, 200 years, and we go through a major development related to that. The great mutation is when these two planets begin conjunctions in a new element, and that is what is taking place right now. So for the past 200 year cycle, it was in the earth signs, and the earth energy developed our practical life. This is when Jupiter and Saturn conjuncting in Earth signs developed our physical and mundane world. We developed cities and infrastructure, all the things on the 3D orientation. We developed technology that helped us with everyday things like washing machines and microwaves and refrigerators, cars, airplanes, all those sorts of things that developed our physical mundane world and convenience and huge cities with all kinds of apartments and homes and shops and stores, all those sorts of things. This was part of the 200 year cycle in the earth signs. Well, now it is shifting to the air signs and Jupiter and Saturn will be conjunct in Aquarius at zero degrees on the solstice, which is very important. All of that is pointing to the fact that a new era is beginning and that it's very, very important. So let's talk about what happens when we shift from the earth element to the air element. Well, air signs deal with the intellect and our brains. Air signs are going to develop spiritual and inner technology compared to outer technology. So the outer technology for convenience and practical life was during the earth phase. Now we're coming into the air phase and we're gonna develop more of the inner technology. In other words, the technology of the brain, the technology of manifesting a reality based on your core beliefs and your thinking. And in this, we get to go past the third dimensional view or the, the 3D view of just the laws we can measure. And we get to branch out and reach into the quantum world of healing and awareness. It's really quite spectacular and interesting and exciting. Imagine really truly more and more people suddenly understanding and embracing the fact that our thoughts are energy, that our thoughts and our words carry frequency and vibrations, and that those frequencies and vibrations make an imprint into our reality field and then manifest. Now, those of you who are listening right now probably already know this. You probably already know prayer works, affirmations work. You're probably pretty mindful of what you say and what you think. But you know that you're a small portion of the population and that quite a few people are really pretty unaware of this. Maybe they believe prayer works, but they don't mindfully practice watching what they say and energize on a daily basis. And What's going to take place during this time frame with the air activation is that it accelerates and expands dramatically. And it helps us on a personal level because we get to create what we want in our own life, or at least we shape our life at a new level. But it also expands out into the collective and it helps the earth itself because all those frequencies and vibrations join together. So here is a thought that is very much related to this next, next phase we're going into. And that is to understand that mastery of life 
has a lot to do with being in command of your state of mind. Well, that's related to the air signs, the state of mind. And instead of blaming other people make you feel a certain way, or your emotions and your feelings are because of what has happened in life, you're going to need to start shifting to saying, I am in command of my state of mind and I choose my reactions. I choose how I feel. And you hold yourself accountable to that. Now, it doesn't mean we're going to be perfect, especially not initially, right? Because this 3D world is a classroom where we are polishing and shaping and growing as a soul. And there are difficulties sometimes. I mean, there's gravity. There are challenges that come up. But more and more, it is so important right now to embrace the fact that we are in charge of our own state of mind and we get to decide how we react. So this air sign activation is really going into the core of our beliefs and our thinking and how that shapes our reality. And it helps us to understand there is value to the words that we say because our words carry frequencies that affect things. It's the vibration of our thinking. Science can't measure that yet. Science can't measure how does prayer work. But I believe that's going to start taking place, that somehow there will be breakthroughs so that science finally says, yes, by the way, when you do a positive affirmation, it does help your healing. And all the mystics, all of you guys listening are going, well, I knew that years and years ago. But there's something magical when authority backs it up. It's called authority bias. Suddenly people will listen because they need an authority to tell them. And this is what's going to help move everything forward. It really has to do with the self-fulfilling prophecy, which is working with other dimensional laws, not just the 3D limited view that we can measure at this point. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Here's what I tell my clients about this. Be mindful of what you tell yourself about a situation because you get to be right. The self-fulfilling prophecy is real. When we understand we get to be right, when we tell ourselves certain things about certain situations, all of a sudden there's more accountability and we place more value on it and Hopefully, we change our thinking. Now, right now, 2020 has been a very challenging year in many ways, right? I mean, we're all evolving very quickly because of the situations in 2020, namely the pandemic and the challenge that that has brought. But what are you telling yourself about this lockdown and about the pandemic? Are you telling yourself that you have a very strong immune system that knows how to heal? Are you telling yourself that you're strong and powerful and that you're always in the right place at the right time and things work out? Or are you telling yourself that this is terrible? Are you telling yourself that you're sick and tired of these lockdowns, that the stress of this is just killing you? Now, I use those two examples, sick and tired and killing you, because I hear a lot of my clients saying that right now. And when they do, I point them to this concept of the self-fulfilling prophecy. And I say, do you really want to be sick and tired? And they go, oh, that's just a saying. That's just something people say. It doesn't really have power. And I say, yes, it does. Your subconscious hears everything you say. And your subconscious is your obedient servant who works to fulfill your command. And it doesn't stop to evaluate whether it's a positive command or a negative command. It just springs into action. Those are other dimensional laws coming in to play here. And I urge people to start energizing what you want instead of energizing what you don't want. And again, if you're realizing your thoughts have energy, then you're going to view this differently because we are beginning a rapid acceleration with the body, mind, spirit connection. And the openness and the fulfillment of this can be so profound and wonderful because we are so aware of it. So it's not just something we do occasionally now and then. It is mindfully applying this on a daily basis. 
And it doesn't mean we're going to get everything we want all the time. I mean, again, as I mentioned, challenges happen, but it means we are engaging consciously with energizing what we want instead of what we don't want and awareness of the role that our thinking plays in our reality. That's what this Jupiter Saturn activation in air for 200 years is trying to bring about. We get the incredible honor of the beginning part of the cycle. And so for those of you who are already using this concept consciously, understand you get to be a role model. You get to be sort of a pioneer or a way shower by modeling the behavior of energizing what you want instead of what you don't want. I suggest this. I suggest consciously right now building a very firm belief foundation and taking the time to think about what are your core beliefs and what is it on a very basic level that you want to energize into your reality. And I recommend doing some very strong beliefs that are specifically general, but yet generally specific to help you shape your reality. And I used this one a minute ago while I was talking, but let me focus on it again. One of the basic core beliefs that I like to energize frequently, and I have been imprinting this into my reality field for 30 years now, is I am always in the right place at the right time. I declare it. I say it with authority. I have imprinted it with command. I am always at the right place at the right time. And so when things get challenging or intense or stressful, I fall back on this, that no matter what happens, even if there's big intensity in life, I'm always at the right place at the right time and it brings me comfort. But more than that, because it is imprinted in my reality, I manifest that, right? The other one I like so much is I am in the flow. And that helps me to remember at key times to relax and let universal energy work through me so that I am a conduit for divine energy. Not that I have to control and force or make things happen, but that I am in the flow helps me to surrender. These two concepts are some basic core beliefs that I try to energize. Another one that works for me is life supports me in every possible way. You can change that up. You can just say, I am supported, or I am supported by my guides and angels, or I am loved and supported. These are just examples. I'm not saying you have to say these specific ones. I am really suggesting, though, that you take the time and jump in with both feet to this new era that is beginning and energize core foundational beliefs. Think about when a skyscraper is built. The first thing they do is they create a very strong foundation so that maybe it's a, a hundred floor skyscraper, a gigantic one, so that it has the foundational support that will allow the structure to be strong. And that's what we're doing right now in our consciousness. Here's another one that is very important to me saying something to this effect, my mind and body are in perfect balance. You know, what you tell yourself about a situation becomes true. You get to be right. So why don't you tell yourself your mind and body are in perfect balance or your body is strong or your immune system is amazing or your body knows exactly how to heal or you embrace perfect healing, whatever it happens to be. One of the things that I do related to this is I consistently will visualize and feel and affirm that my body is filled with happiness, that my cells are filled with happiness. And sometimes I'll even visualize golden smiley faces <laughs> flowing into all my cells. So all my cells become happy cells, smiley face cells. And then they populate throughout my entire body. They fill my organs. They fill my skin, tendons, ligaments, muscles, you name it. But all of these things are engaging exactly the evolutionary process that's trying to take place right now, Jupiter, Saturn going into air. Isn't it wonderful 
I mean, really what's happening is an evolvable moment is beginning. And the real question is, do you want to participate? One way or another, you will participate because you do that every day with your thinking, with the frequencies and vibrations that go through your emotions, that flow through your thoughts. You are imprinting into your quantum field, into your reality field, a certain reality. And the more frequently you do that, more emotion, the more repetition, the stronger that reality field becomes. Step into it consciously now. Become one of the way showers that engages in this. And so just think about if during this pandemic time, just think if what was broadcast in the news or on social media, imagine if they said, hey, believe in your ability to heal. You are braver than you think. You are more talented in healing than you know. And you are capable of being strong more than you can imagine. Imagine if that's what was broadcast and that was imprinted and anchored into your consciousness. And imagine if everybody believed it and then it rippled out. Imagine how awesome that would be. We're not quite there yet, but this concept of the hundredth monkey, for example, that theory that flows with a monkey started to wash the fruit. And then other monkeys saw what was happening and started to do the same thing. And then it grew and it grew and grew until all the monkeys on that island or continent started to wash their fruit. And then magically, and they don't know how, it suddenly shifted over to other continents. I think this is part of quantum entanglement, which scientists are saying spooky things happening at a distance. They don't know how to explain it, but something that happens to this particle over here then suddenly happens to a particle over there simultaneously, faster than the speed of light. Well, this is what this new era, Jupiter-Saturn conjunct in the air signs, it's, it's along that line, quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement is talking on the spiritual level about the fact that you can send healing energy to somebody across the earth and they receive it instantly, even though there's a distance between the two of you. This is going to accelerate. It's going to open up. Our brain is so capable. We've only tapped a portion of it, but it's not just our brain. It's our spirit. It's the other dimensions. It's our soul. It's pretty exciting, isn't it? So I want to end with letting you know that if you want to participate in this and at least start to cleanse and flush your system to release the old negative beliefs or release blockages or to just open your system so that you are ready to go with this acceleration, you can, you can do a chakra flush meditation as part of it. I have a guided meditation on YouTube. You can go to my channel, which is Rose Astrology. And you can go through it. It's a 22-minute long meditation, but it will help in helping your body get to a higher frequency so that when you are energizing what you want, it is more powerful. Now, this Chakra Flesh YouTube videos, I have part one and part two. Part one talks about what the chakras are. Part two is the guided meditation itself. You can do that if you want, or if you already know how to do this, then just do it on your own. But the bottom line is we have this magical moment coming up, this new era that begins. I sincerely hope you will jump in with both feet and participate with this evolvable moment in helping the consciousness of the world go up a few notches. But more than that, being accountable for your own reality and making it as loving and wonderful and harmonious as you can by beginning new habits where your awareness increases about the frequencies and vibrations that you are imprinting into your reality field. I wish you a joyful and happy and graceful great mutation on December 21st, 2020, lasting for the next 20 years. Thank you.